Hello, Kroiso, welcome to the Kappa PA virtual tour. Over the next few minutes, I would like to cover some of the items we normally have for sale at Torm and other markets throughout the season. If you have any questions at all, then please feel free to contact us via email or phone. Our main focus over the years has been mail, but as some of you know, we also like to diversify a little. From armour to stress toys, and from bath bombs to jewellery, we have a wide range of products. We provide off-the-peg sizes to suit a variety of budgets and time periods, using mainly mild steel with either pin or wedge rivets in either flat or round ring. Whether you are after loose rings and rivets, or tools required to complete your own project work or battlefield repair, we've got it covered. We also have a number of options to suit the majority of reenactors or theatre and film productions, large or small. With standards, skirts and voiders, as well as coifs, horbigens and hauberks, and of course, no crazy wizard sleeves to get in the way and ruin your look, whatever you need, we can cater for you. We have even covered modern day use in self-defence. Most of our mail is provided with a black finish, but we also work with standard mild steel finish if required. We can also work with aluminium items for theatre, LARP events and weddings, as well as titanium or even stainless steel. Whilst we can and do provide advice for reenactment use in terms of material and style, we always advise that you discuss this with the authenticity officer in your group. In addition to the off-the-peg items, we can also provide a full tailoring service, such as coif integration, adding leather and brass trim which will really make you stand out in the crowd, or, as one customer once commented, the person everyone loves to hate. Our 15th century style collars are particularly popular at the moment. We offer a range of styles, from simple basic leather edging to the full deluxe version which includes linen and wool padding. The male is completely hand-stitched to the top edge of the padded collar to provide full coverage under the edging. Each custom piece is adorned with our very own maker's mark, which is in keeping with historical male makers, as seen in the image on the left-hand side of the screen. Our coif integrations can also have an additional ventail added if required. The custom work can often involve a number of fittings, so obviously in the current climate there are certain elements currently on hold, but please contact us for further details. For a number of years now, we have had the privilege of working alongside Nick Chexfield, a very talented master mail maker with over 25 years of experience, working on many original pieces in museums and private collections. Nick has enabled us to come up with new ideas for the reenactment community, as well as to take the development of mail to another level, but more about that shortly. This picture is of Nick and his 15th century style tailored sleeve, a great deal of work, but it makes all the difference. When getting a tailored product, it's quite critical that you consider getting the undergarment tailored as well. We do have a number of trusted traders that we have referred customers to over the years specifically for this reason. Our interest and passion for history and our working relationships with conservators and curators ensures that we are always looking to do something different while still remaining authentic. Our 15th century partlets over the past few years have become a popular choice, especially within the jousting community. Available with a variety of fixings and finishes, the partlet is a great alternative to voiders. As previously mentioned, we like to diversify and experiment with our product range. From an initial request to create a new style of jousting coronel based on historical examples, our polyurethane items now cover spear and javelin heads, pole weapons and even hand grenades. Watch this space for a new design of pole weapon based on the work of the very talented Stuart Macon from Jack Hammer Forge. If you want to start working with mail, then a great way to do this is to get the wooden mail kits. 
Each kit contains 100 wooden male rings, ideal for the beginner or even the more experienced makers out there who want to try out new techniques. Each pack comes complete with a handy information sheet on how to link the rings together, along with some basic tailoring methods. These have proved very popular in the classroom, for public demonstrations, or just as a lockdown hobby. Outside of the historical markets, we also like to work with other materials such as silver and titanium to produce unique custom jewellery. This provides a more modern, colourful take on the medieval, using traditional mail-making techniques on a smaller scale alongside contemporary silversmithing methods. We provide a wide range of necklaces, earrings, bracelets and rings, both in a more subtle style and also in a range of funky colours and designs, all designed and produced in-house. While our jewellery is not currently available on our website, please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any inquiries regarding the jewellery or if you would like to commission a specific piece. You can also take an element of historical warfare into the workspace in the form of our stress grenades, as well as into the bathroom with our range of scented soap and bath bombs. I did say we'd like to diversify. Who said weapons couldn't be relaxing? Last, but by no means least, over the years there has been a desire to improve the look and feel of mass-produced mail. Whilst some minor improvements have been made, there are still certain limitations with regards to the manufacturing process. The past few years we have been working with Nick Chexfield and Phil Parks on creating something that very closely resembles historical mail. We are pleased to say that this dream is finally starting to become a reality. Our aim is for this to be produced in the UK following traditional mail making techniques. Watch this space for images and further details of this new style of mail that we are currently developing, which will be called Immacula. Thank you for watching. We hope to meet up with you all sometime in the future, either at TORM or another reenactment event. In the meantime, if you have any questions at all, then please feel free to contact us via email or phone. Thank you. Diochen Vaur.